Assalamualaikum and hello to all. Today we are going to study chapter 6 periodic table. Learning outcome. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to specify periods, groups and blocks and deduce the position of element from the electronic configuration. So what is period in periodic table? Eh? So it is actually horizontal row in periodic table from left to right and the period number uh, is actually equal to the n principal quantum number of the valence shell uh, example okay example here okay electronic configuration if we try to write the electronic configuration for this one uh, we can see that it, this one is three so the electronic configuration for lithium is one s two if you still remember Afal, Hans and Pauli exclusion rule two s one okay so two plus one is equal to 3 so this is the electronic configuration for lithium which have 3 proton for neutral atom the number of proton is equal to the number of electron okay electronic configuration actually refers to electron okay so there are three electrons so what is the period for this one you look for the largest number of n so this is the largest number of n which is 2 so this one actually the position is at period 2 okay next one look at mg Mg is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and 3s2. Okay, so let's calculate. Eh? Uh, 6 plus 2 plus 2 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. Huh? So there are 12 electrons for magnesium. <coughs> so what is the period? Look for the largest number of n. So this is n, eh? orbit. Orbit or uh, principal quantum number. 1, 2, 2, 3. So 3 is the largest number. So this one is actually position itself in period 3 uh, but we don't know what group is it uh, because uh, we are only looking for the period first eh? for this one okay block uh, the block determined by the type of subshell okay subshell is SPDF huh? being filled by the electron at the highest energy level so there are S block P block D block and F block okay example again if we look at lithium so 1s2 2s1 okay so what is the block okay for the block you look at the at the uh, at the end of the subshell here the subshell here is s right s so this one for group 1 and group 2 this one is s okay s and for nitrogen okay nitrogen there are seven electron because there are seven proton uh, in neutral atom the number of proton is equal to the number of electron so 1s2 2s2 2p3 so 7 eh? 3 plus 2 plus 2 is 7 so what block is this okay, so this one is block p okay you look at the end of the electronic configuration here this one is at p block but where is p block in periodic table uh, you are going to see that later so what is group? Group is the vertical column. And there are 18 group. 18 group. So 18 vertical column. So for S block and D block, you can determine the group from the electronic configuration because the group number is equal to the number of valence electron. Okay, what is valence electron? Valence electron is the electron at valence uh, at the outermost shell, right? So for P block. Okay, the same thing. Uh, the differences is that number of the electron at the outermost shell, U plus 10. Okay, uh, let's see example. Lah. So, it can be easier for us to see. Eh? So, sodium, it is 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, and 3S1. Okay, so what is the group? Uh, okay, for the group, you look at the end of the electronic configuration and you can see that this one is s right and there is one electron at the orbital s and three here refers to the outermost shell okay uh, this is uh, orbit one orbit two orbit two and this one orbit three so we can determine the group by looking at the electron at the outermost shell so one electron here is at outermost shell that is orbit three so this one is actually group one okay what about beryllium okay beryllium 1s2, 
S2. Okay, so what, what is the outermost shell? So this is outermost shell. And how many electrons in the outermost shell? Two, right? So this one is in group two. Uh, this one supposedly is here. Uh, what about K? K is 19. So 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, and 3P2. Uh, this one you need to refer back to the previous topic lah on how to write the electronic configuration. Eh? So let's cal calculate 6 plus 2 plus 2, 10, 10, 12, 14. Okay, so 14. <coughs> So which one is the outermost shell? So this is outermost shell. A eh, 19, okay, sorry, sorry. 3, 3, P6, sorry. This one is 3, P6, eh? sorry. Eh? This is 12, sorry. Okay, 6 plus 2 plus 2, 10. 10 plus 2, 12. 12 plus 6, 18. 4, S1, sorry. Uh, okay, this is the correct one. Okay, okay. Okay, so look at the outermost shell. This is the outermost shell 4 and it have one electron. So this one refers to group 1. Okay, that is for group 1 and group 2. Okay, what about this one, carbon? So carbon, there are 6 proton. So it means there are also 6 electrons for neutral atom. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p2, right? 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. Okay, so... We know group refers to the number of electron in valence shell. So there are two valence shell here. Okay, the valence shell here is two. Okay, and there are two sub cell. <coughs> two sub shell. And there are two electron in two S2 and two electron in two P2. Okay, remember when you see P, okay, when you see sub shell P. It means that you need to add these two numbers, the valence shell, 2 plus 2 plus 10. Okay, 2 plus 2 plus 10. So, this one refers to group 14. Okay, uh, you can check in periodic table. Is it carbon in group 14? Okay, uh, you can check. Uh. And for silicon, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p2. Okay, so 6 plus 2 plus 2, 10, 10 plus 2, 12. Plus another 2 is 14. <coughs> okay, so P. So 3S2. 2 plus 2 is 4. So you need 2 plus 10. So this one also 14. So silicon is in group 14. Okay. Uh, so you want to the, the one okay, so you can see from here, uh, from the pre table that has been separated. Uh, so this is S block. S block specifically only refers to group 1 and group 2. Okay, D block specifically refers to group 3 all the way to group 12. Okay, all these are D block. Eh? And for P block is from group 13 all the way to group 18. And at the bottom here is F block. Eh? What is important? That we are going to learn in your level here, S, P, and D block. <coughs> and this one for uh, the name for each of the group. Uh. So, alkaline metal, alkaline of metal, transition metal, group 3 to 12, uh, calcogen for group 16, halogen for group 17, and noble gas for group 18. Okay, so now. Given for you the electronic configuration, let's try to determine the period, block, and group. So, if you have sodium, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. Okay, so period, what is period? Period is the largest orbit. Okay, so the largest orbit here is 3. So, you write down 3. So, the same thing for this one. The largest orbit or the largest principal quantum number is 3. So, 3. This one also 3. This one, even though this is at the end, uh, 4 is the largest number of orbit. Eh? So, this one is 4. This one the same thing. The largest number of principal quantum number is 4. So, you write down 4 and this one also 4. Okay, block. Okay, block. <coughs> if it is S, you just write down S. Okay, if the end of the electronic configuration is S, you just write down S. Okay, for P. For P. Okay. Sorry. 
copy okay you just write down p block okay p means that this one is in p block p block okay this one what about d okay d if this one is d and with d this one is also block d and this one also end at d so also block d and this one end with p also end with p so this one is p block eh? okay uh, one thing about this ah eh? okay sometime sometime this two thing also return 3d1 4s okay so even though you see s there is the orbit 3d that is not complete this is not in s orbital but it is in orbital d so you need to be careful this one 3s1 it does not have the d in front of uh, for uh, 3 it does not have uh, d orbital d yet but this one it have orbital d so be careful when there is orbital d yeah okay so for group <coughs> okay so what is group group refers to valence electron right so refer to the valence orbit so this one is the valence orbit outermost shell so there is one so this one is group one what is the outermost shell for this one 16 s so 3 so 2 plus 4 plus 10 so this one is 16 what about this one the uh, the uh, outermost shell is this one so 2 plus 5 plus 10 17 okay but what about this one d okay <coughs> okay for d d is quite different okay d is quite different d block for something that is in d block is quite different eh? okay the outermost shell we might think that the outermost shell is 4 okay we might think the outermost shell is 4 so we might think that this one is in group 2 but remember if you write down 2 this one is not in d block okay group 1 and 2 is always in group uh, block s okay so it cannot be 2 this one okay so how are we going to determine this one so for 3d for something that is in d block what you need to do is refer to the last two end of the electronic compression so this one is two so this one is one right so you just need to plus this two number okay for s how many electrons are there 3d how many electrons are there just plus that two number so this one you get three so the same thing for this one, 2 plus 4, so this one is in group 6. And again, this one is block P, so it is not in block D. So for P, for P, you need to find out the outermost shell. Because this one is not group D, uh, not P, uh, D block. Eh? This one is not D block. Eh? So 5 plus 2 plus 10. So this one is actually 17. So correct, right? 17, bromine. So this one is bromine. So, bromine is group 17, right? Uh, so, that is how you are going to determine the period, block, and group by looking from the electronic configuration. So, that's it for today. I hope you can really watch this video and try to understand it. Eh? Okay, so, good luck. Bye.